Hello everybody, it's Daniel. Welcome to, I think, part three of Android Studio 4.0. It's August 2020. Um, we're building a grocery delivery app. This is what we have so far. If you want to get to this point, go back and watch previous videos. In this tutorial, we're going to um, add icons. So say maybe this tofu scramble is on sale, or maybe it's free delivery, or gluten-free, or vegan, or... Um, vegetarian or whatever, we're going to add little icons that kind of signify what it is. So the tofu scramble might be vegan, um, that might be uh, gluten-free or whatever. So let's go ahead and start with the layout. Let's go into resources, layouts, and I think it's a single restaurant row. We should probably name that something else because it's not really a restaurant at this point. We can always refactor, uh, rename, and then that will update everything. We can name it to something else. I'll leave it like that for now. We want to add some icons. So actually first what we need to do um, is let's go into, uh, if you go into drawables, we can actually, Ainted Studio actually has a lot of, uh, has a lot of icons already built in. So vector icons or whatever that was. Um, and then we can actually add our own or we can select some that Ainted Studio has for us. So these are all free to use. I think open source. Um, uh, material design, flat icons. Uh, you can use these for whatever, literally whatever you want to use them for. Um, a different category. Say we're looking for, uh, see, we can just pick whatever. I'm just going to pick some random ones for now. We can search for that. We'll do, um, let's do, I think let's do, I'll just do, um, man, I can't, I should have. Thought of some good ones before, but I'll put in some random ones, but hopefully. Oh God. Um, uh, what's a good one? Damn. I'm gonna pick a random one. I'll do a shopping basket, but, uh, oh, I'll do this. I'll do, um, this will be a highly rated one. Okay, so if it's highly rated, we can name it whatever you want. We'll call this one, um, the, that means that this uh, food is like really, really good. Highly rated. Black is fine. Um, is black fine? Yeah, it's fine. I will go ahead and finish that. And now it's in our drawables folder. There it is. And we can actually see the, uh, the icon there. I'm gonna close that. Uh, let's go ahead and get our image view. Ch -ch -ch image view. Uh, this is the right one, right? Go to split view. Actually, I want to go back to the, I'll go back into design because I think that's might be a little bit easier. Just gonna drag in an image you somewhere. Um, and we'll go ahead and set it for highly rated there. Uh, hit OK. And it disappeared. Where to go? Um, that was that one, I think. Which one was it? Uh, it was there. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that really quickly. Not sure what happened exactly. Look in the code, what happened? Da, da, da. Don't even know what I did. Let me see something really quick. Huh, whatever. Okay, let's go back into design. I'll try one more time. Image view. I'll put it like, try to put it right there. Highly rated. And let's hope this works. What happened? There we go. I probably just put it below the layout. That's why it didn't work. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it. Oh, God. I'm not a designer, but I'm going to put it right there. Uh, material design, of course, I've done this a million times, lots of comments about it. Um, and we'll give it some padding on the left side, the 24 maybe. There we go. So there's our icon. Um, and uh, if we were, we can actually change the tint, I think. Let's, let's rename this, we'll do this. Um, we'll name it highly rated icon. And that should update all references on the XML. What we got? Nope. Yeah, we got to constrain it the other way also. So I'm going to do, actually do bottom to bottom. And that should fix that. There's no red icons there. Okay, or red underlines. Okay, cool. So we have our icon there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually, let's make that 16. Again, not a designer, going kind of slow. That looks good. Um, let's, uh, I want to change the color. We can actually search for, I think we can do tint. A lot of times we can just simply change, I think it might be the tint, I'm bad at this. Yep, the tint. So we can make it whatever color we want. Even though in drawables it is a different color, let's make it uh, dark blue, why not? Highly rated. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And uh, yeah, 
This should get the icon everywhere. Now what we're gonna do next is we only want the highly rated icon on our highly rated item. So for example, like the breakfast platter might not be very good. Um, so now it's on all of them. So not what we want. So let's go ahead and do an if statement to try to put it on only the uh, food items that are actually really good. So let's say what's actually really good is uh, this vegan nom burrito. That's really good. It's only about $9 here in the US. Actually, I think it's, I don't know how much it costs. Anyways, it's just a local restaurant around here I love in my hometown. Vegan Nam, if you ever live in Austin. Okay, so, um, yeah. First things first, uh, what we can do is, let's go back into our food item. So, I'm going all around. Okay, so here's our list of food items right here inside first fragment. And we have our name, price, uh, description. We actually aren't using the description yet. Um, let's add a third one for whether or not it's highly rated. So let's go back into our food item model. And what we can do is add another, um, we'll call this uh, another variable. We'll call this is highly rated. And for this, um, let's do a Boolean. So a Boolean is like yes or no. So either, either it is highly rated or it is not highly rated. I mean, obviously, I mean, it's not like um, different colors, like blue, red, green. It's either like it's green or it's not green. It's red or it's not red. It's highly rated or it's not highly rated. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's expensive or it's not. I mean, it's, it's basically just a yes or no is what it is and nothing more. You can't even put num. It's basically, it's yes or no. Sorry, won't exaggerate. Now we have, um, it's giving us errors because we don't have is highly rated there. Um, what we can actually do is give it a default value. So right now it's actually asking for us. So if you put your mouse inside of there, command P will let you know uh, we have description there, but we don't have the highly rated. Um, so let's go here. Let's say for defaults, let's say if we don't specify anything in there, if, it's, if we just leave it as is, we'll do equal false, or same thing as saying no. We can't do no, but it's just false. So everything is not highly rated. And that's get that gets rid of all of the errors. Now, if you wanna say, hey, I want just this vegan nom thing to be highly rated, um, what we can do is we can say, hey, you know, I actually wanna make that true. And um, all of these that don't have any value, it's the same as going false. Um, that's just because we added the default of false there, we can get rid of that because we don't actually, it's just kind of implied there. Uh, Let's run that. And um, this actually uh, shouldn't change anything yet because we're not doing an if statement to determine whether or not it's highly rated. We're just displaying it in the layout no matter what. Um, let's go back into our restaurant adapter. And um, if we go inside of our food item there, which we did in a previous video, uh, we can go do a food item dot, let me have access to is highly rated. So that can either be yes or no. Let's do an if statement. An if statement is kind of like this, if you haven't seen all my other millions of videos, like an if, um, if, uh, if, we'll just do it. Da, da, da. Highly rated, and uh, at the end of that. So if it's highly rated, it'll do all of that. That's the same thing as doing uh, true. Uh, we can just get rid of the true because, um, just because, that's the way it works. So if it's highly rated, um, oh, yeah, so if, it's high, if, if this item, if, the, if a particular row is highly rated, we will do item view dot, we have access to whatever we called it, highly rated, highly rated icon. And again, that is the icon from our layout here, that icon, we give it that. Um, uh, and oh, one thing we have on here is we have a visibility. Oh, there's an easier way to do this. Never mind. But this will this will this will do an if statement for now. Uh, we can do dot visibility equals. Let me can't do like um, actually I can't work. But here we do view dot um, visible. We also have other ones like um, invisible or I think we have gone. Um, so in this case we'll do visible 
And uh, let's go ahead and run it. So this will make, if it's highly rated, we'll do make it visible. Uh, run that. And let's uh, look for the icon. Um, here it is. And as you'll notice, all of them still have the smiley face. Um, the highly rated icon, that is because in our layouts, we are showing it by default. So all of them are visible. And then we come into here and say, you know, make it visible, or if we come into here and say make it visible again. Well, it's already visible, so it's not doing anything. Let's make the default in here. Um, let's make it invisible. So let's do visibility. Uh, and here we'll actually make it invisible. So now the default is just going to be gone. That's what it looks like. Then, special case, if we come to here and it's true, then we will make it visible. Uh, run it, and let's go back to the emulator. And vegan nom, they're going <laughs> to see this. Uh, oh, there we go. So the tofu scramble, not very good. Oh, wait, we made the vegan breakfast platter good. Okay, well, it's good also. Uh, vegan nom, none of it is. Um, say we want to make the last, the second from last one also. Uh, um, let's make that highly rated, true. Um, run it. So now, yeah, I'll stop the, I'll go ahead and stop on just a second, but you'll see it. That's highly rated and that's highly rated. Now you can do the same thing. Um, all you need to do is just add another icon here, like, um, you know, is vegan, gluten free, uh, cheap, tasty, dairy, um, bread, you know, meat, hamburger, whatever. You can add all of yours. And this would just change to like, um, is glute, uh, is gluten free or whatever, spelled it wrong. Then in here you just, uh, oh yeah, wait, do we, what do we do? Oh, we need, you need commas after all this. But basically what you do is, um, Kevin, oh, I'm gonna mess that up. Uh, you can do a default of, you know, is, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna end it, is vegan, default. If you get rid of the default, it's gonna force you to actually declare it. So here it's gonna give us a bunch of errors because we don't have the vegan. Oh, and um, something else. So if you just do like uh, false, because we don't want that to be vegan, um, well, you'll notice we actually have our default parameter of the is highly rated. So it thinks, so it thinks it's that. Um, vegan. Yeah, so we can we can either order it differently, or we can do like um, we can we can just do is we can do it that way and only specify certain parameters. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Getting way ahead of myself. Get rid of that. Cool. So um, try to make videos more often. Uh, it's highly rated, and again, we'll maybe get data from Firebase later. But for now. For now, we have a couple of highly rated items, and I think we will um, uh, we'll go ahead and end it there. Um, by the way, I read most of the comments. I don't respond to all of them, but I pretty much read every single comment. So I just I feel bad because I don't have time. I have like I don't have a lot of time. I get a fair number of emails actually and um, requests. Uh, so I don't re reply to all the comments, but if you leave one. And um, I, I'll at least see it. Anyways, um, see you next time. Bye.